what's up? Welcome back to Witchwood. Uh, we have four new souls to go and get. I don't know which area we're going to get to first, but we need to go east in the forest. Ba -ba 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 well, fans still there having a bad day. <laughs> Whoa, this is new. Did this just end abruptly last time and now it suddenly exists? Did you wish it true, sir? <clears throat> Alright, well, we have a... Uh, to the village! Alright, people first, correct. <clears throat> people means voices. Hopefully I can be consistent. Not likely. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. What the hell are those down there? We're gonna get new stuff. There's a dog in a sweater. <laughs> Why is there a dog in a sweater? Cheap dog! Oh, look at him! The anxious little dog attempts to frantically get town's guard attention as they stand, watch in front of the smoking ruins of a burned down shop. Please, you have to listen to me. My friend is missing. The guard stifles a yawn, annoyed at having to work. Oh yeah? And what's your friend look like? The sleeves of the sheep dog's oversized sweater flail about comically. She's a belly tall, wears a green vest, and has black wool. So she's one of them sheep, huh? Probably just got lost. You know, them types ain't too bright. She didn't get lost. She's gone missing. Her wool shop was burnt down on purpose. Can't you smell it in the air? Calm down, sir. We're investigating the situation. But I'm sure this fire was simply an accident. It was a simple accident. Bet your friend just left the kettle on or something. Why don't you check with the ram in town square? If anyone knows where the lost sheep is, it's probably him. How could you say that? Everyone knows the ram hates the black sheep. Look at all these footprints. I bet his goons have something to do with this. Listen, she's starting to get on my nerves. Just leave this to the professionals, alright? He turns away from the dog and goes back to doing absolutely nothing. Professionals indeed. Couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. Better look into this funny business myself. New chapter the ram! The dog is adorable. I love it. Uh, I require the soap that's here. Thank you. Sootball, come back here! I realized uh, after posting that I cut out the part where I first found the footballs and I referenced Spirited Away, so I'm saying it again now. <laughs> What's this? My travel can I lose these stones. Ooh, I found a cobblestone. Now I'm just stealing. <gasps> Is that kitty? This cat deserves a treat. Well, I don't have any. Are you? Uh... Pockets ripe for plucking. Ah, okay. Here's the thing that lets me go. At first glance, this looks like a neglected shack long ago fallen to disrepair. But your canny gaze reveals its construction to be beyond the ravages of time, standing overlooked yet constant until properly disrupted. Running your nail along the grain of one of the nailed up boards proves to be just the disruption it was waiting for. And now I have a portal. Oh, now we have pigeons, do we? Let me get some pigeon feathers. Some pigeon meat. Pigeon. Give me a pigeon. Pigeon. Ooh, I got a nail. Iron nail. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Pigeon beak. Oh god. <laughs> the image. Can I go into any buildings? Whoa. Oh, that's just because I got too close to it. What is this? Rat nest. Oh, that's great. We catch rats. Catch rats. Rats. Wait, how do I get it? Oh, with a trap. Oh, that's annoying. Gotta make another trap. Okay, whoops. Wrong button. Come here, you. Trap. That was easy. Oh my god, I hate it. Rat tail. Rodent lard. Okay, well, got some more stuff. That's good. Just collecting everything I can. Never know what I might need. So, let me put down a, a trap first. Before I do this. Go ahead, into the trap, please, before the bird. Okay. 
Some flower petals. Okay, good. Another cat. Meow. I thought I heard the click clack of hooves. Oh my god. There's a mimic. There's a mimic. Nothing suspicious about this chest whatsoever. I need a skeleton key. Alright. That's weird. I don't know why I didn't think Mimic would be in this. Oh, what are you? The little elf, the tiniest of people, said to be capable of even greater feats of smallness. I need a shiny lure. Okay. No, oh, what's your problem? Town Guardsman, if you're gonna break the law, you better bribe him first. Pickpocket wants what's yours. Shiny lure. Okay. Oh dear. Gallows, quite tidy considering. What's this? You're the ram. Sheep, a sheep. One of several sheep. They behave similarly. And the ram, self assured, outspoken, and above all else, loud. Okay. <gasps> Another kitty. This cat deserves a treat. Oh no, weakness cat treat. Oh no. What would happen if I give the cat a treat? Do I want to? I need a fish first. How do I get a fish from the docks? Okay, we're not going to near the docks. What else have I unlocked? Anything from looking at things? Shiny lure. How to make that? I can make one. I should get the elf first. Or, you know, both. How to make skeleton key? I need bones from the graveyard. A mummified head. Sure. Alright. Elfman, I see you right there. Hey, Christmas sounding thing. There you go. Oh my god. What did I get for that? I got elf shoes. Where did he go, though? Alright. You shiny. Touch it. I found your pickpocket gloves. What can you do now? Nothing. Was he wearing gloves before? I don't know. Let's go talk to the ram. Excuse me, come through. Beep, 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 beep. Oh dear. Listen closely, brothers and sisters. We must wear our wool proudly and show the world that plain is best. Oh my god. That's right, plain wool is best wool. All of these outlandish colors and head splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. As we all know, individuals are weak. Only the united are strong. Together we speak louder than a single voice. Wait. Are all the colors bad? Then what about gray? It's almost plain white. Gray is forbidden. Gray is the gateway to blue. And where there's blue, green isn't far behind. And then what's next? Yellow? Purple? Even red? Oh no! Anything but red! No! Always remember, colors lead to discord. To chaos. And with chaos, the wolves will come for us all. Aye, not the wolves. Watch out. There's one right there. The near sheep nearly jumps out of its fleece when it notices you. Okay, I'm rude. Er, that's rude. Not a wolf, you have wits. Maybe not, but you're different. And that's just as bad. Uh, right, boss? That's right. So what is it an outsider wants with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lot would have room in your heads for any more ideals. But no, I'm here looking for the black sheep. Seems her shop was burnt down last night. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? Bah! That bothersome black sheep's a thorn in my side. Never heeds my warnings, always goes against what's good and proper. But I assure you, I was tending my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Did I mention that she was gone? I just mentioned her shop was burnt down. The little sheepdog begs to differ. He says you've always had it out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with all your prattling. Lies and slander, you have no proof of any wrongdoing. For all we know, she may have just left the kettle on. As the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash leaving black marks on the cobblestone of the village square. Proof, eh? Looks like some of your flock have sooty feet. Wonder where the suspicious trail will lead. Can I see the trail, or what? Oh, a trail! Ashes, ashy, ashy leavings. Seems like someone wised up to the ash they were trailing and shook off the rest. I need 
make some unveiling powder. I have some. Where's it? There it is. Reveal! That's the wrong button! Reveal! You sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestones to reveal hidden footprints, still blackened by ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from town square last night. Uh, follow it. He's still cowering, okay. Reveal! A struggle must have occurred here. You find the remnants of a torn burlap sack and some scattered fistfuls of wool. Footprints looting away look to be moving great speed, like someone was being chased. A pair of lone footprints duck into this vegetable garden. You notice some more footprints searching in confused directions farther afield. The black sheep must have been trying to hide from her pursuers. Maybe she managed to throw them off her trail. Well, there's some uh, petals here. Oh, here we go. And I gotta make more reveal. Or not. After following the ashen trail through the back streets, you come to a dead end. Your only companion is a stone gargoyle squatting atop a building corner. Does he speak? You stand on your tiptoes to examine the large carved demon closer, noting the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm, what a fine garment. I could do with a new one. It's starting to get chilly. Let's just hope it hasn't gotten any of that bird poo on it. As you reach up to unwrap the scarf, the gargoyle's eyes swivel in their sockets with a sound like two grinding millstones. Well, excuse me, I'm quite fond of this avian excrement, actually. That's a touch of authenticity to the whole ensemble, don't you think? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize I was speaking to a watcher. Ha! A watcher? Why is it that no one ever comes to watch me? I'm handcrafted from the finest block of artisan... Artis... No? Artis... Artisanal? Granted, so masterfully chiseled that I came to life. Nothing on this earth or beyond has greater claim to beauty than I. And yet, day after day, I sit up here and no one gives me so much as a passing glance. Well, maybe if you cleaned up once in a while... Oh, hush. I don't need to take fashion tips from you. Besides, you only looked up at me because of this fabulous scarf. Admit it. I was merely following this trail of sooty footprints. But now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine knit to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? Why, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram, always ringing that gaudy bell of his and poo-pooing everyone else's fun. This world is alive and needs a good splash of color once in a while. You know where the black sheep is, then? Now hold on. How do I know you aren't another agent of... banality? Like the ram. Just look at that skirt. So last century. You'll have to prove you're an ally of fashion sense. <laughs> You'll have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. I have elf shoes. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. Ha! Those clogs aren't fit for a horse. No, I've got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and absolutely to die for. Well, I mean, the elf did die, I think. Let's look at it with a nice hat to go on my f with my fetching scarf. Maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. I have some of those things. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around, idle. I need three elf shoes. Do you have three feet, sir? I need a gnome hat. I don't know how to get a gnome hat, though. All right, we make more shiny charms. Maybe this will work against the. Whoops. Maybe this will work against the uh, the gnome. Could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, make another shiny. I need at least two. Okay. Now we gotta find more. Hey, look, one more. I need you, not the guy. You need to follow me. No, 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 no. You. No, come back. Give me your shoes. Or your shoe. There we go. 
Oh, look at the little... It's got a scarf on it. Okay. Are you a mimic too? Ah! Okay, don't trust any chests that you find here except for little ones. Puzzle box. How do I make a puzzle box? What is that? Docks. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get a seashell. Um. What is that? No, 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 no. Oh, good. I need more of these. We need to find the docks, because I have multiple needs that require me to go to the dock. Hmm? Hey, a key! <laughs> cool. I also got a mimic's toe. Alright, to the market! I'm not gonna talk to anyone. This looks exactly the same. Okay, what's this one? To the docks! Crab trap. We always need wicker work. <laughs> Music in this game is lovely. What the hell are you? Crab trap. Trust the bubbles there. Got a oh, I can get a fishing line. There we go, show. <coughs> Find the uh, passageway. What are you? Huh. A deep one. Not quite a fish, not quite a man. Something in the depths. Okay. Okay. Not looking. Hungry, but I'm willing to take any action to satisfy that. Crap! Sandpiper. Shore skipper. These fish. This fish seems to have skipped a few evolutionary steps. Yeah, I think. I specifically need this one, so. You stay away from that. You stay away from that. You stay away from that. Oh, crab trap. I'm silly, but I'll get the other thing anyways. Come 
come back. Okay, try not to talk to the girl. Okay, I got a skipper scale. Alright. What do you have? Okay. Ah, crap. How do I make that thing that that guy likes or wants? There it is. I need a weird water and a soothing rune. To get a soothing rune, I need cobblestone. I need. Okay, there's a lot of like. Need this to make this to make this to make this. Uh, let's get it. Okay, some stone. I've also realized that the things will have a highlight around them when you can make them, like when you have enough stuff to make the thing. So I need for this, I need, oh, I need water. Do you guys have a water thing? <laughs> Fisherman, pluck pocket. Oh. What's a pluck pocket? Get bone from the graveyard. Okay, well. The graveyard's gotta be like connected to this, right? Ooh, let me go over here. Fine. Nope, fine. Haha. <laughs> there it is. To so many passerbys, this seems like an yet another collection of crusty barnacles clinging to the surface of a stone until the tide next surges. But you can spot the inconsistency, the irregularities, within the scattered arrangement. And with a single, exacting touch, the illusion falls away. And I have below the tide pool. Nice. Ah, crap, please. You missed. Sheep. Join the flock, follow the ram today! No thanks. Okay, look to the map. The graveyard is south of the village. This way. To the graveyard! Ooh, spooky. Gravekeeper, the death. He's seen weighs heavy on his conscience. Does he not like- Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Sorry, ma'am, but I must warn you, the graveyard's not safe right now. If you got flowers, I can go lay them at the grave if you want. Blech, when I croak, nobody better bring me posies. What's the matter? Uh, something's got the spirits of this place riled up in a real bad way. All restless and cranky, they is. There's this horrible howling coming from the mansion up the road. Scream that it chill the bones or the bumps right off your nose. After I might gather up my wits to go take a look see, my knees turn to jelly as soon as I set foot on the path. Mark my words, that creepy old place is haunted by something more than just a sleepless spirit. Ha, <laughs> ghost stories for children. When you're my age, it takes something special to put it right in you. Well, if you're so sure about that, you can go up there and tell me what you see. Maybe it has something to do with what's got all these ghosts so agitated. I didn't mean to start the new chapter for the rat. But I need to get in here to get stuff. Can I get ahead this way? Okay, I got some- Whoa, there's a magic root. I figured it'd be here. Alright, got a black rose. I have a level 5 head. I need that. What are you? Ghostly grasp, trying to claw its way back up. Life it lost. I do need water, so... Oops. 
bet the soothing stone works on the, uh, the ghostly grasp. Goes distinctly lacks the stillness, char stillness characteristic of the dead. Okay. Well, let me go back to. So I can make this now, right? Make this first, then. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a fish. I got a deep one. <laughs> That's all I needed. Okay, cool. All right, gnomes. Oh, gnomes. I have a puzzle box for you. Gnomes. Oh! Got it. Here we go. Here's the elf shoes. He set the tiny footwear aside. He tucked the sewing kit in a safe nook nearby. He set the little gnome hat nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. Eee! What? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent. Mm. The excited statue seems thrilled about the elf shoes in particular. Nearly gave me a heart attack. I don't see what's so great about those things. Barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto its wiggling toes. Oh, but aren't they just lovely? And they match my scarf. Your scarf is red and blue and they're green. What are you talking about? Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is or I'll turn you into a gravel next. No need to wrinkle up your rags. I carried her out to a secret grove in the woods to hide from the ram. He even managed to save some for stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be of no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. Gogo flexes the heavy stone wings out of the back. The shocky statue doesn't seem capable of flight, but you've seen you've seen stranger things. Let's go. Okay. Hey, look at you! You're adorable. Spinning wheel. Turning wool into yarn may not be actual magic, but sometimes it seems like it could be. Black sheep channeling jitters into an incredible speed of knitting. Hello. Oh, you poor, poor lady. Ah, uh, stay back. The ram sent you to finish me off, didn't he? Oh, crackers. I knew you couldn't trust that gargoyle to keep a secret. Calm down. I didn't come to fleece you. In fact, I came to see why that miserable tyrant tried to run you out of town. Glance around at the rescue rolls of patterned fabrics and balls of colored yarn. All because of this lovely textile work? I never meant to cause trouble. I just wanted to make beautiful clothing. The ram saw my work as some affront to his great vision. He wants all of sheep to dress the same, think the same, be the same. But I don't understand. Why can't we just be different? I've given the sheep and the dog the same voice. <laughs> the loudest voice is seldom the wisest. Tears well up in the sheep's wide set eyes. They burned down my wool shop, and they tried to kidnap me. I only barely got away. Thankfully, the help of Gargoyle was able to salvage some of my things from the fire. At a time like this, knitting clothing is the only thing I can do to calm my nerves. I hope I have enough yarn to last me. My poor spinning wheel is broken on the journey here, so I don't think I can make any more. A shame. I too am a weaver of sorts. Your wheel can't possibly be on repair. Your wheel can't possibly be beyond repair. Can I take a look at it? Do you think it would help? Be my guest? Okay. Uh... Restor rest um, restorative idol. Okay, I'll make that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need a jack thing. Okay. Anything else here for me though? Ooh, just would be helpful if it had a jack thing in there, but oh well. Oh hi! Did you need to live to the secret grove? Yes. Okay, 
door. As good as new. A few splints and some elbow grease, and then she's all ready to go. Wow, really? Thank you so much. What are you ready to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Why? A special gift? That's a lovely idea. Which will need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of his should do the trick. Hmm. Ram guards just block like the ogre. We won't be able to get a single hair off them with him watching. That is a problem. Oh, unless you find his mission missionaries. Sometimes the ram sends out loyal sheep to spread the word. Why? I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me, after all. He's got this gibberish to the corners of the world. Where are these missionaries? I know one's in the docks, I already saw them. Nearer than you think. You usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. Shame they won't have the ram's protection. Got plenty of police here. But if you have something special in mind, just put it by the splitting wheel. I have nothing right now, but I, I can get that. Alright, but I'm gonna leave this episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like, if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.